Hi, welcome back. In this video, I will show you different options to add a toolbar to the taskbar in Windows 11, similar to how it was done in Windows 10. As you may have experienced yourself, trying to add a toolbar to the taskbar in Windows 11 can be frustrating because it is not possible in Windows 11, at least not in the same way it was in Windows 10. The first solution you may come across when searching is Explorer Patcher. With Explorer Patcher, you can customize various aspects of the Windows 11 interface, including the Start menu, the Taskbar, File Explorer, the System Tray, and even remove the rounded corners that come with the new Windows design. While Explorer Patcher is a powerful software that can give you the customization options you're looking for, I want to advise you to try it with caution. You can download it here, but I do not recommend using it, particularly in a work environment, as patching the Explorer can potentially cause stability issues and security risks. Additionally, keep in mind that you'll need to repatch the Explorer with each Windows update. In my opinion, a better option is to use a third-party freeware like System Tray Menu, which allows you to have a toolbar in the System Tray in Windows 11, this way. You can achieve similar functionality without modifying the underlying system files, making it a safer and more reliable choice. After downloading System Tray Menu, simply unzip the file and run the included executable. On the first run, a website will be opened and a dialog box will appear where you can select the folder containing your shortcuts to your favorite tools, allowing you to easily add them to the System Tray toolbar. In my folder, I have a few shortcuts and also to subfolders that contain even more tools, which are all now easily accessible through System Tray Menu Toolbar. The application also comes with a handy quick filter function, which allows you to filter through the current folder and quickly find the tools you need. Now, let me show you how I like to set up the program to make the most out of this feature and customize it to my workflow. The first thing I like to do is head to the General tab where I find the option to start System Tray Menu with Windows, which is useful for having the toolbar available at all times. Also, note that here you can change the standard hotkey to show the toolbar, which is Control plus left Windows button by default, to a custom key combination that suits your preferences. Moving on to the next tab, I can change the position where the toolbar should appear. I personally prefer to have it in the bottom right corner of the screen. Moving on to the next tab, I'll make sure to disable the option to show an icon in the taskbar as I don't want to see a separate icon for system tray menu. These are the most important settings to me, but feel free to check out and try out the other settings yourself as you may find some additional features or customization options that suit your needs and preferences. So, this is all I want to cover about System Tray Menu in this video. If you're looking for something lighter, let me introduce you to another tool that might better fit your needs. Another free tool that allows you to add a toolbar to your system tray is called Tray Toolbar, and you can get a free copy from GitHub. Let me show you how it works and how you can use it to add a toolbar to your system tray. The application is portable, which means you don't need to install it, and it's very user-friendly. Simply run the executable, and the options window will start automatically, allowing you to easily configure Tray Toolbar to your liking. Here, in the options window, you can define which file types to exclude, select the root folder that you want to use. Choose a theme, I personally prefer the dark theme, and also configure the application to auto start when Windows starts so your toolbar is always ready to go. Now, if you look in the system tray, you'll find a new icon that represents tray toolbar. From here, you can access your folder, run any application, and use all the other features that Tray Toolbar has to offer, making it a convenient and easy-to-use toolbar solution. You can also drag the Tray Toolbar icon to the area where it will always be visible, so you can easily access your toolbar and its contents without having to click on the arrow to expand the system tray. One thing I miss in Tray Toolbar is a customizable hotkey, but that's a minor complaint. 
Speaking of hotkeys, let me show you another alternative to have a toolbar in the taskbar, this time using AutoHotkey, a powerful scripting language that can help you automate and customize your Windows experience. After downloading both AutoHotkey v1.1 and v2, install both versions. For each version, install with the default settings, then exit the installer. I recommend to install v1.1 first and then install version to separately as they are to distinct versions of the software. AutoHotkey is not only a great scripting language, but it also comes with a friendly and helpful community. You can find some really useful scripts on the official forum where users share their creations and provide support to others, making it a fantastic resource for learning and getting the most out of AutoHotkey. There is a script called Popup Folder, which is a perfect alternative for the missing toolbar in Windows 11 with Popup Folder. You can have your favorite tools at your mouse tip, allowing you to quickly access the files, folders, and applications you use most often, making it a convenient and efficient solution for productivity and workflow. Before running the AutoHotkey script, you'll need to set up a few things. Right-click on the script file and select Edit Script to open it in the AutoHotkey editor, where you can configure the settings and customize the script to your needs. You need to define the root directory that will be used by the pop-up folder script. In my case, I'll press the Properties button to copy the path to the folder and then I'll paste that path into the script so that it knows where to look for my favorite tools and files. Another optional setting is to define a custom hotkey to trigger the pop-up folder script. I like to use Windows key plus X so I'll simply change the hotkey setting in the script. Now that I've configured the script, I'll save the changes and then double-click on the script file to start it. This will launch the pop-up folder script, and from now on, I can use my custom hotkey, Windows key plus X, to access my pop-up folder and quickly launch my favorite tools and applications. I have to say, I absolutely love this script. It's even more convenient than clicking on a toolbar in the taskbar in Windows 10 with a pop-up folder script. I can access my favorite tools and files with just a quick keystroke. If you want the script to auto start when Windows starts, it's easy to set up. Simply copy the script file to the startup folder and from then on, the pop-up folder script will launch automatically every time you start your computer, making it always available and ready to use. In conclusion, while Windows 11 may not have a built-in toolbar like Windows 10, there are still several alternatives available that can provide similar functionality. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.